Here is 1951 Lincoln Sentinel 67 red condition. Georgia's rose red surfaces with smooth, fully frosted texture. A lovely and inviting example with exceptional surface quality. This superb gem ended up selling for $4,715. Number 13, 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS 68 condition with full steps. Outstanding target toning, the obverse with sandy apricot peripheral color that gives way to iridescent salmon pink and lemon yellow towards the center. The latter two colors dominate on the reverse, but they are joined by wisps of powder blue and reddish apricot around the periphery. Silky smooth in appearance with intense mint luster to fully impressed features. It was sold for $3,840. This is 1922 No D. Lincoln set with strong reverse, graded as MS64 red and brown by PCGS, an outstanding choice and circulated survivor of the popular and conditionally challenging 1922 No D. Sand. The verse is typically soft in stripe, although all major design elements are fully appreciable in the absence of wear. Sharply defined throughout the reverse, with ample pinkish row luster on both sides. Minimally toned, this premium quality example is more red than brown and would serve as a highlight in the finest Lincoln scent or variety collection. It ended up selling for $63,000. Here is 1934 Washington Quarter with medium model. A graded in mean state 68 by PCGS, wonderfully preserved ultra gem with a coveted CC seal of approval. Smooth, flawless surfaces display frosty luster. The obverse is generally untoned, while the reverse is awash in attractive lavender, pale blue, and peach tints. This is the most common of three primary 1934 obverse designs. It was sold for $9,750. This is 1995 Lincoln Sentinel 69 red condition. Extraordinary specimen with immaculate surface preservation, luster, and eye appeal. A 1995 Lincoln Sent graded as MS69 is a high grade cone that's almost perfect in terms of condition. However, whether it's considered rare and valuable depends on a few factors. An MS69 grade indicates that the coin is virtually flawless under close examination but falls just short of the highest grade, MS70. Coins graded as MS69 are highly sought after by collectors due to their excellent condition but they are not extremely rare. Nevertheless, this specimen was sold for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee. This is 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps. Famous D over D repunched mint mark variety. The D mint mark was punched into the reverse die twice, first at an errant 90 degree rotation, and then corrected upright. This variety is popular and scarce in high grade. The present full steps example displays lovely frosty luster and just a tinge of light golden toning. No distracting abrasions are seen. It was sold for Five thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. This is 1961 Diruzwa Diamond MS 67 Plus condition with full bands. Elusive 10 cent piece with attractive amber gold hues on obverse. According to NGC, despite massive hoarding of all USA coins dated from mid 1950s through 1964, top notch gems of this issue are a bit elusive. Denver mint dimes of this period tend to be better struck than their Philadelphia cousins, resulting in a greater proportion of full bands or full torch pieces. But they are also more likely to be marred by numerous small bag marks. This coin was sold for $1050. Here is 1953 Franklin half dollar in MS66 plus condition with full bell lines. A tough date with full bell lines, this colorful superb gem is sharply detailed with beautiful luster that shines through rich patina. When collectors and numismatists use the term full bell lines, they are referring to the Franklin half dollars where these horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell are particularly well defined and complete. In other words, the lines are fully visible and unbroken across the bottom part of the Liberty Bell's image. This FBL specimen was sold for $6,000. Here is 1972 Lincoln Sand with double die of verse, graded in mean state 66 plus red by PCGS. The 1972 double die of verse Lincoln Sand is very popular among collectors. The coins have quite a large spread on the doubling, which is quite evident throughout the mottos and the Dayton of verse. 
While not quite as dramatic as 1955 DDO, this coin still commands a healthy premium. It was sold for $2165.62 with buyer's fee. 1976S Jefferson Nichols struck on a wrong planchet, graded as PR68 Red Ultra Cameo by NGC. With weight of 3.1 grams, this proof nickel was impressed on Lincoln Sand planchet. Rich copper orange hues adorns the liquid like mirrors, while the sharp frosty central devices display stark contrast. Neither side has a mentionable blemish. It was sold for $4,800. Here is 1912D Lincoln Sand in MS66 red condition. CAC proven an excellent gem. A semi key date coin in the lower grades, the 1912D emerged as a major condition rarity above MS65 red level. Adorned with even original pinkish red luster, the surfaces are softly frosted in texture and devoid of grade limiting blemishes. It was sold for $8,625. Moving on with this 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 Plus condition. A 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 Plus condition can be considered a rare and valuable coin, especially if it has been graded and certified by reputable coin grading surfaces. The plus designation indicates that the coin is at the higher end of the PR68 grade, making it even more desirable to collectors. This NGC graded quarter was bargained for $3,600 with buyer's fee. This is 1959 the Roosevelt Time in MS68 condition with full bands designation. Very nicely toned with bold, vibrant satin mint luster that brings out the olive gold, icy blue and rosy hues on both sides. The eye appeal is totally original and even with a strong glass it's bothersome finding any flaws. This elusive 10 cent piece ended up selling for $5,287.50. A 1969 Lincoln cent, but just an ordinary superb gem example with no doubling elements on obverse, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS. Surfaces are free from blemishes or toning. Only large distraction is the slanting mark on the head of the president. This penny displays vibrant mint luster and eye appeal is very pleasing. It was sold for $3,000.38 with buyer's fee. And this 1969 S. Lincoln Sand was double diverse, graded in mint state 64 red by PCGS. This variety is known for having a noticeable doubling on th of the design elements on the obverse, most notably in the inscriptions in God We Trust, Liberty and the Date. The doubling is a result of a misalignment during the minting process, which caused the coins designed to be stamped onto the die more than once. The 1969's double die scent is one of the most famous and sought after error coins in numismatics. It gained significant attention when it was discovered shortly after its release, and it continues to be highly prized by collectors. This MS64 specimen fetched a sum of $71,499.38 with buyer's fee on July 30th, 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next episode.